Yeah. Uh, we get some more confirmation on a prior video we did. Who knew that uh, maybe we are not posting fake things? Rumor Prime, I guess, is uh, striking back today. Hey everyone, uh, we have an article now on Nintendo Life about Donkey Kong, that's right baby, about how the Super Mario Odyssey team is working on a new Donkey Kong game. Now there are conflicting reports in this about whether it's a 3D traditional Donkey Kong game or a side-scrolling Donkey Kong game. I am kind of good either way, obviously we haven't had a full 3D one since what, Donkey Kong 64? Uh... Obviously, we also know the country games have been wildly successful. So I kind of look at this as, hey, you know what? The glass half empty, half full. I'm going to go with half full. Either way, it's good news. Donkey Kong is good. And the Super Mario Odyssey team, let's be honest, Odyssey, masterpiece. Donkey Kong, by that team, whatever they do, probably a masterpiece. Now, let's get into the report here because they do cite... Uh, some of the stuff we talked about from Samus Hunter, but they also add in numerous other sources, including their own. That's right, Nintendo Life is now officially throwing their weight behind the Donkey Kong rumor train. So here we go. Donkey Kong is one of Nintendo's oldest video game characters, and while the series has seen some massive releases over the year, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong 64, being two really notable examples, the franchise has remained pretty dormant since Tropical Freeze, which is true, which made its debut on Wii U back in 2014. Man, has it really been that long? Uh, before being ported to Switch in 2018. However, there are rumors that Nintendo is looking to resurrect the series by bringing it in-house. That's right, not done by uh, Retro Studios, which technically would be in-house, but obviously that's done in the United States, not at the Japan Studios. All right. Uh, the, with development currently underway at Nintendo EPD, the team responsible for Super Mario Odyssey. YouTuber Lonely Goomba actually mentioned this rumor in passing on social media. He did. He didn't really believe it. Uh, and then this says, and other sources, which they link to Andre's Restarts video on Samus Hunter's rumors on this. So, throwing that out there, uh, Samus Hunter is one of the sources here. But, Nintendo Life can confirm, Nintendo Life themselves can confirm that it has heard the same rumor from an independent and very trusted source, which would appear to lend this report some degree of legitimacy. However, Nintendo Life Source claims that the game will be 2D or 2.5D if you prefer, and not 3D. So kind of like Tropical Freeze, 2.5D with like 3D elements in the game. Uh, this rumor is also backed up by recent comments made by leaker Zippo, who said the following, It's the Big Ape's 40th Anniversary. Man, I'm so glad it's not my 40th anniversary. Uh, and while I'm not sure how Nintendo is celebrating the occasion, there is a new 2D DK game being developed by EPD Tokyo. Retro is obviously busy with other things, so Nintendo has taken it upon themselves to bring DK back in as an internal series. Don't expect the country moniker to return. That's big news right there. Uh, as EPD Tokyo are not interested in making a sequel to games they didn't make. Diddy, Cranky, and the Kremlin crew should all be returning in this installment. It sounds like this game is launching before the end of the year, and an E3 announcement seems very likely. Following the arcade and NES releases, as well as an excellent Game Boy Auntie, Donkey Kong was entrusted to the UK studio Rare in the 90s, which produced three titles for the SNES. Donkey Kong Country outings were also released on both the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, where Rare purchased when Rare was purchased by Microsoft, Nintendo passed the property to Texas-based Retro Studios, and then we all know what happened from there. There's obviously been spin-offs as well. They mentioned DK, uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, uh, Donkey Konga, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. So there's been other DK spin-offs as well over the years. What I find interesting about this is they're gonna go with a side-scrolling game, but nope, Country, go away. It's not a Donkey Kong Country game. That, to me, is also stupidly exciting. I haven't seen Nintendo's internal team make a side-scrolling Donkey Kong game. So whether it's 3D, 
whether it's side scrolling. This is all super exciting because Nintendo's going to take Donkey Kong in a new, fresh direction. And that to me is awesome. And yes, folks, I talked about how Donkey Kong is likely coming out this year. It was on my E3 predictions video. DK. Apparently, the PlayStation 5 just wanted to jump right out of there. They don't want nothing to do with DK. Sony! You ain't got shit on DK. Uh, but yeah, seriously, I think it's really, really highly interesting uh, to think about the idea of a new Donkey Kong game. In fact, in honor of the new Donkey Kong game, I'm just going to casually slip this into your view. This is the Power A DK wired controller. I actually don't like this controller. Um, the, the Power A wired controllers have given me all sorts of issues, uh, usually input lag being the biggest one. How their wireless controllers have less input lag than the wired ones? Beyond me, the Power A Fusion controller right now works like just like it's like using a Switch Pro controller, just better. Um, but yeah, this I'm just gonna set this here. The, the, this can replace the PlayStation Five. Here you go, DK. Join join your join your proper place on the set. Come on, come on. You know you want to. Come on, Link. Hold them up. There we go. See, DK and dipping out like Sony just did. So uh, you guys let me know what you think about this stuff down in the comments below. Remember to join us for our E3 2021 coverage. We got $3,500 worth of stuff we're giving away. A whole bunch of hundreds of people walking away with something during E3. We have uh, challenges going on. Hot chip challenge between Eric and I. Uh, the one chip challenge, I guess is what they call it, between Eric and I. Uh, we also have other gaming competitions. You'll be able to go against me or Eric in Smash, Mario Kart, uh, maybe Splatoon as well, and other games uh, to try to win prizes, such as $50 Nintendo Switch eShop gift cards. And DK! I think that means it's just time to end the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one. Quick and nimble, quenching.